back. Come on, I if it's related to the anomaly, so they were in the blue. Director Jingo. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming all this way. You've brought Miss Sarugadai back to the Academy, it seems. No, seeing as she is no longer a pact bearer, it's perfectly all right with me. The reason I called you here was to thank you. And to offer my apologies. Apologies? Yes. I had you take down each of the Pact Bearers, after all. Of the seven confirmed Pact Bearers, you have managed to rid us of every one of them. Were it not for your help, this would have taken much longer to resolve. I might have had to take more drastic action. Except Allow me to one. thank you for saving the Academy from the Pact Bears and the Anomalies. Except one. That said, there's still one Pact Bear left, isn't there? Me? Me! I'm talking about you. I don't know. I find this quite regrettable myself, you know. But there's simply nothing else to be done. Your very existence cannot be permitted. It must be erased from the world. Didn't you find it odd? There is no mist associated with you. Well, Even the pact has a corresponding mist. Because I, I utilize every you. means at my disposal to search every inch of space within the barrier. Using even the slightest degree of one's power within the campus should result in mist. And yet, your power has not affected any area of the Academy. If mist existed for you, as it did Miss Sarugadai, I could shatter your ideals. At least then you could be managed. But alas, none exists, which makes matters different. A potential threat that cannot be managed must instead be eliminated. How about you? How could you? You don't even know where they are. Only your demon would. But a demon would never allow an ideal to be destroyed unless it benefited them. And besides, I couldn't possibly trust a pact bearer that has no mist. <laughs> Miss Aikawa lost her life because of the distortions. They never would have intensified the way they did if it weren't for the authorities. And if there were no pact bearers, there would be no authorities to use. You, of all people, should know full well the potential dangers of an existence like yours. You are a threat who mustn't be allowed to exist. You must be eliminated, here and now. It truly is a pity to lose someone so noble. Bear with me. I hope you understand my decision. I don't. At the very least, I will erase you as painlessly as I can manage. Don't worry. 
It will be as if you never existed at all. Everyone will forget you. No one will need to mourn your death. Now please, be at ease and go in peace. Allow me once again to offer my sincerest gratitude for all you've done. And now... And now... Let us celebrate our births. You called for us, Sora? What? What the? Huh. Sora? That power? What's going on in here? What are you doing here? That force field. Just what are you trying to do? Why would you use your authority on a student? Wait. Your authority? Remember. It's all right. All I did was make it so his memories of this moment never existed. <sighs> Why are all of you here? who called us in, Miss Sora? You said you wanted to talk to us. We even brought Mr. Yugo like you asked. I said no such thing. <laughs> but I certainly did. You're you all kept your promise to me. How terribly, terribly admirable. Sora? Yoro. Sora? <laughs> no. It's been a while since I met you in this form, hasn't it? You know who I am, though, of course. Yoro. <laughs> That's exactly right. Ages. 
It feels good to finally be myself for once. Nice to meet you, Nozomi. Shinya. Thanks ever so much for bringing Yugo here. I wouldn't have been able to separate from Sora without him. Your room? The one the Pact Bearers kept talking about? Mm-hmm. In a sense, you could call me their creator. I'm the one who told them about the demons in the other world. Who are you? What have you done to Sora? Just what are you trying to pull? Weren't you listening? As I said, I am Yoru. I haven't done a thing at all, and I don't plan to either. To Sora, at least. humans first, and then toy with Sora a bit before killing her too. What the hell are you talking about? Don't be fooled. Sora? That thing is just a fragment of my power. Thing? How impertinent. We aren't just the same flesh. We're of the same soul. What do you mean? What exactly are you? You. Another you, created by your subconscious. Or at least, that's what I was. I was born so that you wouldn't be destroyed by contradictions and chaos. I was born so that I could shoulder the burden of your pain. I'm you, Sora, but steeped in pitch blackness. Would you mind stepping out of the way? I would really prefer not to hurt you. Don't worry. All I want is Sora and Yugo. None of the others need to get hurt. Once those two are gone, the barrier will vanish, and you will be able to leave this place. Understand? I'm simply doing what we all want to happen. What do I gain? Hmm. You know... I hadn't thought that far ahead. Freedom, maybe? None of us will be held back. We'll be free to use our power as we see fit. To live as we see fit. Power, after all, is the privilege of the living. Yes, that's all I have in the end. Which includes her authority. You cannot allow that thing to be released into the world. Sure. If its authority is the same as mine, it could result in unprecedented casualties. We can't mm. afford to ignore it. The distortions could end up far worse than any we've seen in the Academy. Like 
you? Yeah. Yes. What a shame. A terrible, terrible shame. You can't exist without me, you know. I made you. I am your darling mother. That thing isn't even human. Don't listen to its nonsense. Don't hesitate. Destroy it. <laughs> Goodness. Are you really in any position to be throwing insults like that around? You are weakened from our split. You and those children can't hold a candle to my power. You forcibly separated yourself from me, after all. Your powers and existence aren't stable yet. Shut up! You'll understand soon enough. I'll tell you about myself in time. About you. About everything. Me. Ta-ta! Mine. Act two! Nozomi Hinata! Dark Abundance! Yeah. On the make the world.